Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. So we just learned about relative maxima and minima, and I want to show you a test that shows how you can find them. It's the first derivative test. And it starts out assuming that f is a continuous function and c is one of its critical points. If f prime is negative to the left of c and positive to the right, then f has a relative minimum at c. And if f prime is positive to the left of c and negative to the right, then f has a relative maximum at c. Now let's see why this is true. I have drawings uh, of the situation here. The first situation, remember, f prime was negative to the left of c and positive to the right. That means that the function f is decreasing to the left and increasing to the right. So it makes sense that you should have a relative minimum here. But remember, what we're going to be searching for is where the derivative goes from negative to positive. That will indicate a relative minimum. And here is the, the opposite situation. You have the derivative going from positive to the left of c to negative to the right. And in the middle, you've got a relative maximum. So we'll be looking for the function to go from positive to negative. That indicates that it's going from increasing to decreasing. So that's why we get a relative maximum. This is called the first derivative test for relative maxima and minima. And by two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it. Work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. 